Welcome back to the Hot Buttery Rolls Whiskey Show. Today, we're gonna have a drink of what Forbes Magazine just released as the best whiskey in the world. Now, what they're referring to is the most recent San Francisco World Spirits Competition. And in that competition, the E.H. Taylor Single Barrel came in first place among all the single barrel whiskeys. So, uh, you know, an already difficult to find product is probably going to go definitely the way of the unicorn. So um, I've got this right here, this single barrel on the nose. It's very, very rich, delicious cherries. Definitely that uh, low rye Buffalo Trace mash bill. Now, when I say low rye Buffalo Trace mash bill, I mean, of course, mash bill one and uh, mash bill one has a variety of bottles. They're not really in any kind of order, but Eagle Rare 17, George T. Stag, Eagle Rare, Stag Jr., and Buffalo Trace are all from the same mash bill as the E.H. Taylor single barrel. And they all have that delicious cherry note and um, very, very little spice. So mash bill two has some spice and uh, a little bit of bite to it on the nose and the palate that the mash bill one products don't have at all so a little bit of vanilla a lot of cherry sweet cherry and just very rich let's go to the palate cheers on the palate it is incredibly rich big time Cherry, bubblegum, vanilla, slight oak, just incredible amounts of flavor. It's really good, really, really good. Oh man. So in order to warm up for this video, I did some other Buffalo Trace Mash Bill 1 single barrels. I had a single barrel Buffalo Trace and single barrel Eagle Rare to warm up my palate. Both of those clock in at 90 proof. And so uh, both of these are picks from Pinky's Liquor Store in West Texas, and they are exceptional. The Pinky's Buffalo Trace pick is just about the best Buffalo Trace I've ever had. And the Eagle Rare is fantastic as well. And yet neither one of them can match the richness of this E.H. Taylor single barrel. Man, it's just fantastic. Man, coming back to this, it's just all kinds of cherry candy and vanilla. It's really good. Uh, do I think it's the best bourbon in the world? I don't. Um, you know, there's actually two bourbons sitting right here that I prefer to E.H. Taylor single barrel, and they're both a little more difficult to find than the single barrel, but George T. Stag and the Eagle Rare 17 are both superior to this whiskey. And uh, being that I enjoy proof, I'm a bit of a proof whore, I actually prefer Stag Jr. to the E.H. Taylor single barrel as well. Oh man. But this is just really beautiful and delicious. At only 100 proof, it is approachable and easy on your tongue. It's not overly hot in your mouth, um, but there's just so much flavor packed into it. Um, the E.H. Taylor small batch is the same proof, comes in at 100 proof, um, and it is nowhere near as good as this whiskey. Um, E.H. Taylor small batch is delicious, but the single barrel really, they choose some special barrels. Um, this specific bottle, is from a barrel that was bottled in 2019. And, uh, you know, it, they vary a little bit from vintage to vintage and from barrel to barrel. Um, you have to kind of take 
the E.H. Taylor word for it that it is a single barrel because there's no barrel identification anywhere on the label or on the tube that indicates what rickhouse it's from, what barrel it is, um, how old it is, and you know, like all, like most E.H. Taylor products, there is no age statement. So this is rumored to be somewhere between six and nine years old. And I believe it. Um, the Eagle Rare is, uh, is 10 years old um, and it has all the rich oakiness and dark cherry that this has. So I'm tempted to believe that this is somewhere on the higher side of age. It is delicious. Well, what does this mean? When a major magazine comes out and says that a whiskey is the best of something or that a whiskey has won an award or, you know, Jim Murray names a whiskey as whiskey of the year, it immediately sends folks looking for it. Well, this bottle wasn't easy to find in the first place. The E.H. Taylor single barrel is about the third most difficult, well, I say third most difficult. It is the third easiest bottle to find, which makes it the second most difficult to find of any given year. Um, E.H. Taylor releases some special bottles, like this year was the E.H. Taylor 18 year marriage. Last year was Amaranth Grain of the Gods, and prior to that was the E.H. Taylor Four Grain. So those ones are very, very limited, very difficult to find. Um, the single barrel comes in right after that. It is not easy to find. I only see them probably three or four times a year out here. And we have a very heavy Buffalo Trace allocated presence. E.H. Taylor Straight Rye is the second easiest to find. And the E.H. Taylor Small Batch is comparatively very easy to find. Um, it used to be on the shelf all the time, but now it gets more and more difficult as people find out about the magic that is 100 proof bottled and bond Buffalo Tray Smash Bill 1. So anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw, click that like button. If you didn't like what you saw, please leave a comment. Tell me what you change, what you do differently, and uh, I'll try to improve. If you have any suggestions or requests for the next episode, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to shoot them. Thanks for watching the Hot Buttery Rolls Whiskey Show. Hot Buttery Rolls out. You can't get drunk if you don't start drinking. You can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning. Thanks for watching the Hot Buttery Rolls Whiskey Show.